back to the channel and I got request like I should make an explanation video for this lab. So here it is. So first of all, just simply log into your credentials and once you're done with that, now just simply come back over here. Now here just simply search for the BigQuery. Open this thing new tab. Now in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document. Now just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this query. Come back over here. Just simply come back to the BigQuery. Just simply click on this untitled. Now just simply paste the query over here. Now if we just simply come back over here and here you can see in the GitHub repo, I already mentioned like what changes we had to do. So just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy this table name. Just simply copy like this, come back over here and here you can see in capital letters table name, just simply replace this table name with this. Now copy this fair amount. Now here you can see fair amount in capital, just simply replace over here. Now if we just simply scroll down the lab instructions and from here you can see trip distance. So for me the given trip distance is 2 so I am going to make the changes accordingly like. So just simply select like this and just simply re replace with 2. Now just simply copy this fair amount. So this is a fair amount number so just check the number. For me the given number is 2 so I am going to make the changes over here as well like this. Now here you can see passenger count so for me it's given 2 so I am going to make the changes over here. For it might be different so just simply accordingly that. So we are done with all these changes. Now if you just simply check over here you can see we got a green tick. Now just simply click on this run. Now click on this plus icon. Now just simply come back to the github repo and just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this second query. Copy that, come back over here and paste. Now if we just simply come back to the github repo and here you can see I already mentioned like what changes we had to do. So we had to just simply change the model name, fair amount and table name. So just simply come back to the lab instruction, just simply scroll down and from here you can see model name. Just simply copy like this, come back over here and here you can see model name in capital, just simply replace this. Now come back over here. Now what we do, we have to just simply copy this fair amount, just simply copy like this, come back over here and here you can see fair amount, just simply replace over here. Now come back over here, now copy this table name, copy like this, come back over here and here you can see in last, just simply replace the table name over here. Now just simply wait and we got a green tick. Now just simply click on this run. So we are done with the task number 2 as well. Now again click on this plus icon, come back to the github repo, just simply scroll down and then copy this last query. Copy like this and I already mentioned like what changes we have to do, we have to just simply change the model name. So just simply paste the query over here, come back to the lab instructions and just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this model name. Come back over here and just simply replace the model name over here, just simply wait and you will get a green tick. So no need to worry about this error, I am glad that I faced this error, the reason is behind that if we just simply come back over here and this query is running because of that we are faced this error. Now if I just simply copy all this command and just simply paste over here again and as you can see I got a green tick and now click on this run button. Now just simply wait and it's done. Now if we just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for all the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated as you can see for the task number 2 the score is not, not updated. No need to worry about that because lab take time to update the score. So just keep hitting on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and as you can see on my second attempt I got a score and that's the way we have to complete this lab. Uh, if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.